time I did one of these, right? Um, I feel like with all my intelligence, no matter what I do, I just can't crack this little code on how to um, get things started for myself here, or on Twitch, or on YouTube. And for a long time, that was the case. I just couldn't figure it out with all my intelligence and all my smarts. Um, trying to turn this, you know, playing video games through YouTube, um, through Twitch, having an online presence, period. It always, like, eluded me in some way like it always like I never was able to capture exactly what I had to do in order to make that happen you know I, I, I've kind of and over the t over time you know I look back at you know what I was doing when I first got started that attracted people to me I'm talking about doing my earlier days on my ADS Play 101 channel. And um, the thing is, I kind of lost something that I had a long time ago, and that was a sense of direction. Like a clear sense of direction and a clear uh, path that people can follow me on. And one thing is that people were getting familiar with me making certain content that when the programs and the websites that I was using were no longer available to me being that they all shut down or whatever and they were no longer available to me I wasn't able to produce that content at the level of quality that I was doing anymore so I kind of moved on to something else and then even when those websites got back up and running you know through these new websites that they created for themselves I had lost so interest so much interest in that particular content that I just, you know, I never went back to it. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Yu-Gi-Oh! content that I used to do. That's one of them. Um, and over time, you know, my Yu-Gi-Oh! 101, my ADS Play 101 channel became flooded with a plethora of content that I felt like because it had so much of variety, I, I was doing too much and people were coming to the channel expecting to see things that I wasn't doing anymore. So I figured it was better for a fresh start. Hence the reason why I, I, I started the World Warriors Collective YouTube channel because it gave me an opportunity to rebrand myself as, you know, somebody who was trying to push a clothing line, push a shoe line and as well as continue to play video games um, at a capacity that at least people, can, when they come to the channel, they know what it is and I'm, what, they, they know what to expect. It's not like a bunch of random stuff that I'm doing uh, anymore. And uh, maybe that was some of the, the things that, you know, that attracted people to me. That's good water. But yeah, man, I, I've lost that sense of personality. And my hair is dangerous, like, right here. Why? Oh, my God. Yeah. Everything's over here is clear. It's just, like, one line of dandruff, like, right there. Oh, it's the scabs. Oh, my God. I'll take care of that later. But, um... There's a couple theories that I have that are pretty much a not even a theory, it's probably like the most accurate reasons I could think of as to why I'm not where I should be and what I'm going to do to change that. 
But one of those things being is that I haven't been controversial on this channel. You notice that, or I haven't had that 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 breakout moment that just brings everybody to attention. You know, I look at past people or other people who had YouTube channels that started off around me around the same time that I did and you know everybody always seemed to have that one gravitating moment that just brought people to their channel and like it just blew up no matter how simple the content was on the channel it's just that they that one thing that they did just kind of just gravitated people towards them whether it be, whether it be that they played a certain game that got them a lot of attention uh, or whatever the case is you know maybe they had like a little funny moment on their channel and it went and that, and that video went viral or something you know it was always that one little moment that really got people to uh, attract to their channel and I just haven't had that yet you know I haven't been like when you give people something to complain about or when you give people something to make fun of that's going to go viral and people are going to come to you for those train wrecks or for those mishaps or for those lucky moments that you had and I just haven't had that you know forgive that you hear the, the roommates they're doing something in the kitchen but um I just haven't had that. like I, I I don't think it's because I'm afraid to be controversial and things like that because I have my stances on things it's just that I don't care to share those because it's a very sensitive world and you can't have uh, an, an intelligent discussion with people without them without attracting a certain amount of the, imp the, the wrong intentions or the wrong attention let me say that like you can have an intelligent conversation and you got that one idiot that's just gonna come in and kind of like cause chaos for no reason or try to cause chaos for no reason because I think cooler heads gonna prevail in those situations but that's neither here nor there uh, uh, so another thing that I've been doing is that I haven't been live streaming consistently some of you know that you know I work night crew at my at a local grocery store um, and because I work overnights, I work graveyard shift, that's overnight. And, um, when I get home, like I work from 12 a.m. in the morning, uh, to 8.30 in the morning. So when I get home, it's like I got four hours to do anything. And then I have to, you know, get something to eat and go, and go to sleep especially if I got to go to work that night. But if I have a day off or so, like, for example, like, I had the day off, to, well, I had the night off yesterday. So that basically means that Wednesday, the first thing Wednesday morning, I don't have to go into work. So that Tuesday when I got home at 8.30, I have to count the rest of that day as my day off, but I'll be so tired from working that I, I, I got to get some sleep, you know. But from you know, even at night when I look at other things, it seems like the most prominent time or the most prominent times for me to live stream are the times that I'm like the most sleepy, you know what I mean, from getting home from work. And I haven't been able to like figure out that puzzle as though, okay, so when's the best time that I can live stream, you know, come home, get some sleep, get up live stream have the energy to live stream and um do it at a, con at a at a consistent do it for a consistent length of time to where when people come in they would want to stay and you know interact with me and i don't have that i haven't attracted that crowd just yet so going forward this is what i'm going to try to do um i haven't figured out exactly you know if I'm going to be able to do it but I'm going to try I'm going to try because again that night that night crew that night shift nonsense between some of the people that I work with and just the physical work itself is like mentally and physically strenuous and it kind of like 
you know, when I get home, all I want to do is just rest and get it out of my system. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have to show all that anger and adrenaline through, uh, you know what I'm saying, through live streaming. Uh, or on the, the live streaming channel. I don't want to bring that negative energy from work onto the live stream. So, I'm going to start, again, Pacific Standard Time, California Time, West Coast Time. I'm going to start live streaming, especially on my day. Well, first thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start being more transparent as to when my days off are going to be for you guys. I'm going to post it on my um, on my Instagram. You guys can follow me on my Instagram at ADSplay101. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. You guys follow me on there. And I'm going to post on there on a weekly basis when my days off are going to be and when you can expect me to live stream and what I'm going to live stream. That way it's not just so random as to what it is I'm going to... Uh, it's not so random as to what it is I'm going to actually live stream. Um, secondly, uh, when I do this, the time I'm going to live stream, nine times out of ten, and, and unless specified otherwise, is going to be at 12 p.m. Um, 12 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. And if and if I can get away with it, and if I, meaning that if I have enough energy to do it, I'll do a second live stream for about like three hours um, during the night. Uh, so, and that'll probably be around, I would say like nine, I don't, I don't want to say that. I would say it, it would be probably be around like 9 p.m. to 12 a.m., the second live stream, if I can afford to do it, or if I have the energy enough energy to do it, because um, man, I I'd be so worn out from work, so that's the plan, man. Uh, the clothes and all that, I don't want to put that on a back burner just yet, but I I need to have a consistent live stream schedule. So that you guys can actually follow. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put that up on the um, on my Twitch, so that people can see, and that way it's not so confusing as to when I'm gonna live stream. Because people don't know, it's like when people have more of a consistent live stream, you know when to come on there, you know when to interact with me, and it's not just like oh, you're getting the alert randomly on one day and you can't afford to come because you don't have the time. You know, people can plan ahead, like, oh, he's live streaming on this day. Well, let me get some things done so that way when he does start live streaming, I can have time to, you know, go interact with him, go visit with him. And, um, yeah, I, I, I want to end up doing that. I'm trying to stay off of Discord because it's way too cluttered for me. Like, I don't have, like, a, a solid foundation here in order to make that happen. So, um, that's one thing so from here on out that's what that's what the plan is going to be so follow me on instagram and uh you guys make sure to uh stay updated through there i'm, I'm going to update on a weekly basis whenever i get my new work schedule because i get the work schedule once a week um so when that happens i'll be able to tell you guys when i'm going to live stream on what day and with time and what it is I'm going to live stream and I think this will help me too that way I'm not just playing games randomly and I'll be able to get certain things uh, done at a more consistent pace so that being said man thank you guys for watching peace I'm trying so just bear with me until next time man thanks for watching